Harassment is the topic of our conversation today. What do you do if you're a house cleaner and you're being harassed at work? It's a really, really good question. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training, where we have a really in-depth course on employment policies and things that you need to help your employees understand as they're being hired to keep your company legal. All right, today's question is about harassment. What do you do to protect yourself? Well, harassment in the workplace is a form of employment discrimination, and it violates the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It also violates the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967 and the American Disabilities Act of 1990. So you got a triple whammy coming at you, depending on the type of harassment. Now, there are a variety of different types of harassment in the workplace, and they range on age, race, religion, national of origin, color, pregnancy, um, sex, gender, and genetic information. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff you can get smacked upside the head for. Okay, so what is harassment? Harassment is when you're made to feel unwelcome at work, whether it's a comment or a joke or somebody makes a sleight of hand move or if there's touching inappropriately or if they show you pictures that are inappropriate or if they show you items or objects that are inappropriate. It could be jokes. It could be slurs or slander. There's a whole bunch of different things that fall into that gray area of harassment. So what do you do as an employer? Okay, well, as an employer, you are liable for harassment that goes on inside your workplace. So if you are a house cleaner and you send people out on the job, it could be that you yourself are the person that's doing the harassing. If that's the case, please stop immediately because you can get yourself in some serious hot water. Now, if it's a coworker that's harassing another coworker, you're still responsible. Now, if it is your spouse, let's say that you are the business owner and it's your spouse that's harassing one of your employees, you're still responsible. Now, if it's a spouse or a child of one of the other coworkers that's doing the harassing, ridiculing or making comments or what have you, that's also under your jurisdiction and you are responsible as the employer. All right, now, if it's a non-employee, let's say that you have independent contractors that you've hired to help out in your business. If one of those is harassing one of your other employees, you are still responsible. And if it is one of your customers that is under your jurisdiction, like you sent this house cleaner to this customer, you are responsible because they are required to be at that house. So it's really a sticky situation, but you are responsible as the boss. So if an employee comes to you and they say, hey, there's been harassment going on, the key is for them to report it immediately. So as the employer, it is your job to have proper training and teach them what to look for and what to do in this situation. And then also you are encouraged to train your employees to say, stop, okay? This is inappropriate. I'm not tolerating this. This is not good behavior. Please stop. And if they don't stop, they need to come immediately to you and file a complaint. And then as the employer, it's your job to take that complaint and resolve it. There are a variety of different ways you can resolve it, but it will be on a case-by-case -case basis. So if you have an employee that comes to you and you fail to acknowledge it or you ignore it or you fail to, to resolve it, you are liable for that harassment situation. Now, what happens is if there is a case, it is also judged by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission as a case-by-case -case basis. So they're going to take it and they're going to figure out based on the scenario and all the details surrounding it, does this become a legal issue? And it could fall under the Discrimination Act and yeah, you're, you're in trouble. So you want to make sure that you have policies and procedures in place and that you create a safe work environment where your employees can come to you and say, hey, there's, there's some stuff going on here that you need to know about. And instead of making fun of them or making them feel uncomfortable or grilling them and intimidating them, you need to be open to the idea and say, okay, what exactly happened here? And be understanding about the situation so that you can, in fact, resolve it. What it comes down to is, does the person feel unwelcome or intimidated or abused or that they are working in a hostile work environment because of the harassment that's going on? And that's considered on a reasonable person basis. So do other reasonable people consider that this is also harassment? Because if it's just a lunatic that you've hired and there's no harassment going on whatsoever, that will also be 
dictated on a case by case basis. So don't worry because you're not going to get all sorts of crazy complaints unless there's some validity to them. But as an employer, it is your responsibility to take it very seriously because you do not want any discrimination acts against you because, like I said, this is very serious stuff. So as an equal employment opportunity commission rule, you want to make sure that you're following all of the rules by the book and that you do have proper training and that your guys have proper training that you've hired that work underneath you. So whether you are the problem or there are problems in your organization, you are responsible. All right, that's a little bit about harassment. I want you to be aware of it. It does happen and it's unfortunate when it does, but don't let it happen in your company. And if you can stop it, stop it while you have a chance. All right, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.